In order to accurately develop the look of materials, we should have some environmental lighting in the scene. Currently, there are no lights in this scene, and if we render, we'll get default lighting, but that's not really suitable for material testing. We'll create an Arnold Sky Dome to be used as the environment, and we'll illuminate the scene with a high dynamic range image. First, so that we don't color the scene with the random color of our floor or ground plane, Let's change the color of that ground plane, select it, and in the name and color rollout, let's first rename it, we'll call it Floor, then click on the color swatch and set that to a neutral gray. Click OK. All right, we can create a light now. So go to the Create panel, to Lights, and from the pull-down list, let's choose Arnold. Click the button labeled Arnold Light, and before you create the light, Go down into the shape rollout and set the type to Sky Dome. And then click anywhere in the top viewport to create that Sky Dome. And then right click to exit the light creation mode. So let's see what we have so far. Right click in the physical camera view to give it focus. Go to the menus and choose Arnold, Arnold Render View. And then click the red triangle to initiate an interactive production rendering. We can see that it's so overexposed that we just get a pure white silhouette. Let's adjust the intensity of the Sky Dome. With the Sky Dome still selected, go to the Modify panel. And in the Color slash Intensity rollout, near the bottom we'll see Intensity and Exposure. Intensity is a linear value. Exposure is an exponential value that works in powers of 2, just like f-stops on a camera. If we increase the exposure by one whole number, we'll double the amount of light given off. So we want to reduce the exposure here. If we bring this down to a value of 7, we'll cut the light in half. And we see a resulting intensity down here. If we bring it down to 6, we're cutting the light in half again. We actually need to bring this all the way down to a value of 0 in order to get a well-exposed shot with this Sky Dome. At this point, the Sky Dome is just putting out white light. Let's store this in the Arnold Render view as a snapshot so we can compare it to other renderings. To prevent the Arnold Render view from updating, we can first click on the button here, which is to hold scene updates. Click on that and it gets a little slash through it. And now if we make any changes in our scene, that will not trigger a refresh to the interactive production rendering. So let's create a snapshot. Click down here on the little camera icon that's going to store this image in memory. One more thing about the Arnold Render View. In order to ensure optimal performance in the interactive viewports, we can reduce the amount of CPU usage by the Arnold Render View. And that's done in the Arnold Render View menus. Go to the Render menu, choose Save UI Threads, and you can set that to a value of 2. And now the Arnold Render View will use all of your available core equivalents minus two. So it's going to leave two threads available for interactivity in 3ds Max. Okay, let's go back to our Sky Dome parameters. With that Sky Dome still selected, back in the Modify panel, let's rename it. We'll call it Sky Dome. And by default, the light is set to only one sample. We can increase the quality of that light. Scroll down in the Modify panel. And in the rendering rollout, set the number of samples to 3. I recommend that for all Arnold lights in order to avoid graininess. Now we're ready to assign a high dynamic range image. Currently we've just got a white color coming out from the Sky Dome. Set the color to Texture. And then click on the button labeled No Map. We get the Material Map Browser. We want to navigate to Maps, OSL, Environment. Choose HDRI Environment and click OK. Then we need to browse for the image file. We'll need to go to our current project's Scene Assets Images. In my case, that folder is on the desktop. And here's my project folder, Product Viz. I'll go into Scene Assets, Images, and choose the file labeled Modern Buildings 4K Monochrome.hdr. This is a modified version of a free high dynamic range image from the website hdrihaven.com. 
I've desaturated the colors so that it's a monochrome black and white image. And that's very important for material testing. We need a neutral colored light for an accurate material preview. So choose Modern Buildings 4K Monochrome.hdr and click Open. Okay, let's see what that looks like. With focus on the physical camera viewport, in the Arnold Render View, we can restore the scene updates. Click on that button, and we will automatically see a new rendering. It looks a bit too bright, so let's reduce the intensity further. We can set the exposure down to negative 2. And now we've got approximately the same exposure that we had with a pure white color. Once that's finished, we can store another snapshot. Click to create a new snapshot, and then we can compare these. Snapshot 1 shows the Sky Dome with pure white light, and Snapshot 2 is the Sky Dome with an HDRI panorama. To go back to a live interactive production rendering, we can click on the button down here in the lower right that now looks like a little eye. If we click in the perspective view, we will automatically see the rendering from that camera viewport because viewport camera is chosen as the current camera up here. I just want to preview that HDRI panorama. So let's back out in the perspective view, dolly back with Control, Alt, and Middle Mouse, and select the Sky Dome light. Then back in the Modify panel, in the Shape rollout, we have a section labeled Shape Rendering. Let's turn on Light Shape Visible. And once that's on, then we can actually see that panorama in the rendering. And we can navigate around in the perspective view, Middle Mouse to Pan, and Alt and Middle Mouse to Orbit. That's just to give us an idea of what that environment looks like. We're not actually going to render that environment. So in fact, we can turn light shape visible back off again. OK, now we've got our HDRI environment set up, and we can begin our process of developing materials.